No recording. Ah. Hmm. I wonder what to talk about, you know? Mm-hmm. Yo, 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 quick question, quick question. Mm-hmm. What? Ethan, yeah. I know me and you've been keeping up with Abbott Elementary, you know? This show's been, like, pretty good. And, like, nigga, Twitter has been spoiling the shit out of me. Like, I'm looking at Twitter right now, and I'm seeing it trend right now. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, what do y'all feel is, like, the worst, like, time Twitter has ever spoiled you on something? Because, like, Abbott's pretty bad. Fucking, I've been spoiled for games. I'm not really a person that gives a fuck about spoilers like that. But, like, that shit gets fucking annoying after a while, dude. Uh, I got one. I got one. Rob, Rob, Spider-Man, No Way Home. Bro, fucking, see, the thing is with Spider-Man, that shit drive me fucking crazy. Because I was like, all right. I'm not going to be on Twitter. I'm not going to be on Insta. I'm not going to be on TikTok. None of that shit, right? I was like, all right, cool. I muted everything until I see the fucking movie open the weekend. And then it's like a day before we go to see the fucking movie, I fucking, I'm on TikTok because I was like, fucking, I'm going to go on TikTok. A random video that has nothing to do with Spider-Man. One nigga in the comments, all me dies in Spider-Man, no way home, y'all. And I was sitting there like, this probably a troll. Like, that nigga probably trolling. I was just like, that nigga trolling. There ain't no fucking Wait, what way. was it? The, the nigga was like, oh, Aunt May dies in Spider-Man. And it's oh. a random <laughs> fucking comment on a TikTok that had nothing to do with Marvel or Spider-Man. It was like some random fucking shit. I was sitting here like, all right, I guess you just can't be on the fucking internet or she's going to get spoiled. And it ended up being right. But I, I low-key gaslit myself because I was like, yo, you probably <laughs> capping. Like, that shit probably not happening. And like, the fact of me gaslighting myself made me think, all right, well, now I have plausible deniability in my head. Therefore, I'm gonna still be surprised if it does happen. <laughs> Mental work. Bro, that was me too. I fucking, I saw. I don't remember what I saw exactly. I think I saw some spoilers, like in the term, like I think Andrew Garfield showing up, and I was like, "There's no way this is real. It can't be real. It can't be real. It can't be real." Yeah, I, I saw like the leaks and shit, uh, and then. I, I, I decided to not believe them because you remember that one nigga that faked like he faked the leaks like oh it was a deep fake or whatever like that shit made me go all right I guess that isn't real but I still was thinking them niggas were showing up because that nigga Andrew just be lying his ass off which is it, it happened so I think crazy. that sort of shit's like really interesting because it's just like bro you can't tell what's real any fucking more. We can get, like, gaslit into thinking, like, an actual leak picture from the fucking movie is, like, not actually from the movie and just some person just making random shit. And then the next second you find out, oh, no, this actually happens in the movie. Fucking, I don't know where those, those brave souls that decided to screen record a screen record a screen record of a screen recording of No Way Home and, and it, was, it, it was on a nigga Instagram story too, and then it was screen recorded. Yeah, I'm just like, who did it? That you'll never find out. I'm pretty sure you'll never find out who the fuck did it. You'll well, we never don't, find well, out. Well, we don't know because Kevin Feige probably killed that nigga. Probably, yeah. he probably sent. He probably sent his ninjas. Like Nintendo got ninjas. He probably sent his the Feige ninjas. Why would you say? Nigga. Why would you? Why would you say that Nintendo has ninjas? Well, Nintendo has Nintendo ninjas. Everybody knows this. Well, what do you What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Can you? Can All right, you... I'll give you a little explanation. So you know when niggas really pirate right. things, and you post about pirating things, you know Nintendo might have some shadow operatives. You know some shadow ops that come out and find where you live at, and you know they send you a nice little letter, and then you probably end up on a plate for no, one of the execs. No. Now, now, there's there's two things wrong with what you just said, right? What? Why would you assume that they would be putting you on a plate? One and two. Why do they have to be ninjas? It's a figure of speech. <sighs> also, why, you're why, a why do they have to be ninjas? They're well, ninjas. Well, because, well, because ninjas are sneaky, nigga. Like no, 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 no. I think it's I think it's ninjas for a very specific. What? No, you're you're interpreting. Yeah, you're this trying. You're trying. Page, you're trying clearly. to bring it to a different place. Also, alliteration, Ethan. Nintendo ninjas, there you go. Like ratio, nigga. <clears throat> I've had Nintendo come to my house and tell me that if I don't stop pirating some more sunshine, they was gonna put a cap in my head. You had the and if you don't continue using Mario as your go-to um, content, 
that you will also die. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember my three All Stars reaction when I literally started crying when they uh, they announced Mario Sunshine? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, uh, that's why I was so happy. I was like, "Oh, finally, I can play the game without pirating it, so that never, way it won't fucking kill me." Never buys it, never plays it again, except for on your own computer. It's insane. The Meanwhile, he, scam, Ethan's bro. sitting there looking at the screen, just like, oh, "Well, anyways, <laughs> anyway." <laughs> Oh my god. Is, it, is that a good pre show right there? No. Oh well fuck me, I guess, right? <laughs> I, I, I you know, I was I was taking a I was taking a call from my mom, you know, actually I'm sorry. Oh, oh were you? What what, what yeah, was your mother your saying to you? Uh well I you know <laughs> it's a funny story, right? So uh, tell you um, clean your bedroom. So fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> um so to this this past Tuesday, I was supposed to go and get my nails done, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, I heard that. and like, uh, because my mom was gonna take me and, and do that because it's it was my birthday this past Tuesday, right? Yeah. Right. How old you turn? Um, twenty one. Oh. Uh, yeah, you could you could drink a, a fucking case of Casamigos now. No, so and- I was I was I was uh you know I got some of that I was showing uh some some friends um. There was that uh it was uh, that 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 crown royal uh, lemonade they have these in these in these cans it really wasn't like the best thing but it tasted fine <laughs> but um either way um you know so that fell through because she didn't want to go she didn't want to get up right <laughs> right um and you know i could have like drove over myself but like I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do it without her, right? Uh huh. So, anyways, who was repeating? Who's that? What? Echoing. You schizophrenic? I think he might be. <laughs> no, <laughs> he Bro, he's what? Not taking his meds. All right, look, 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 look. Monkeys. Oh, you slut. <laughs> you slut. <laughs> you what, are you, slut. what are you talking about? No one's echoing. Someone is echoing. I t- I'm telling you. Well, I got on headphones, but I yeah, got I got headphones on too. Mark. Yeah, I got headphones on too. I mean, I was leaning forward next to my mic, but there's no way. Anyways, this, so I, this, this nigga I, having a damn. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hear voices. No, you don't. Buddy. Anyways, You're just so I was, you know, I was gonna schedule an appointment, uh, like Tuesday, at like four, right? Tuesday. Uh, fell through, right? Because she didn't wanna, she didn't wanna get up, right? Scheduled one for today at four, right? She comes in last night to my room and says oh i forgot i have a nail appointment at a different place at four i'm like huh so you didn't you neglected to tell me that when i asked you if there was anything that we were doing at that time on tuesday right so anyways she goes to get her nails done right now she's gone and she just calls me and she's like, "Ho, oh, guess what? Uh, guess what? I just did." I was like, "Oh, what?" And she's like, "Oh, I made you an appointment with the girl that she gets her nails done with. That's like, you know, works like uh, she's like a individual like nail whatever thing." Okay. So I'm gonna be getting my shit done from a professional, professional nigga tomorrow. Oh, oh you know what you should do? Whoa. What? You should blow your head off. What you the know, fuck? Why would you say that? <laughs> you know, at least I wouldn't have to go to school, you know? Did I? Would That's what you think? That's, that's really the only reason why I'd do it at this point in my life. He only does it to get out of school. You know, at the same time, though, too, um, you know, I was just looking on my on my Twitter. And yeah, I how'd you do on your midterm? Uh, how'd you do on your midterm? Oh, Lord. Well, let, I'll come back to that in a second. Oh, my um, God. Uh, I have a, what is it? I have a, a scheduled tweet, right? I was, um, I was looking cause I was looking at my drafts, but I have a scheduled tweet that was scheduled last year at February the 7th, uh, that says that is, that is going to go out May 23rd of this year. Uh, it says, Ayo, this is past Key Wingley. If you haven't hit a hundred K subs on YouTube by this point, give up nigga. Oh, 
Ooh. Yeah, you just sound like you just yeah, that's just like not a fun uh goal, you know. Um, well, you know, I have high hopes for myself and I like to keep my goals high because if I don't hit them, then I want to uh blow up uh start by blowing up all the BMW show. <laughs> well, I, I I tell you, you know, uh a good easy cool little life hack to uh getting people to subscribe to you is uploading oh. a fucking video. That's oh insane, Rob. I never knew that. I actually never knew that. I actually never knew that myself. Yeah, I, see, I, I, know, I know Joe. I know Joe really never knew that. I know I never knew it, but I know Joe oh, really Oh my god, that. fuck you, bro. I, I I'm not complaining about it. You know, really, that's the hardest part is uploading, you know. That's the hardest yeah, part. Yeah, you know, getting up in the morning. You know, just saying whatever bullshit you gotta say. You know, pressing, oh, God. pressing that button. It's hard, man. It's hard. God, to do if that. I had to wake up in the morning and and go like, man, I have to edit on Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh man, oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we I have not, to we edit. Oh, this because uh, it's this conversation just yet. Because yeah, uh, but back to back to midterms, right? So yeah, this past week has been my my midterm week, right? And, uh, you know, mm. just so happens that it falls on my birthday, you know, obviously makes sense, you know, college uh, makes me want to uh, put the 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 bullets that they use to kill Wolverine um, in my brain. Um, but. Uh, anyways, midterms, uh, they went OK, I guess I only had to take like three exams, right? Yeah, three. three. Um, and uh, I got an 100 on all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty goaded. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty OK. Um, you know, kind of goaded, kind of an academic weapon, as the uh, kids would say. Uh, who, who who is kids? Welcome back, everybody. Suck on it. Uh, suck on it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, back to the Down Bad Boys podcast. Rated five stars on Grinder by uh, uh, Jalil's uh, mm-hmm. ex Grandpa. ex-lover, ex-lover oh, uh... of, uh, of 10 years. Uh, he, he says, "Damn, um, these no ah uh, ah uh, what hello man this 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 podcast sucks more than Russell Westbrook. The cops are gonna be called, yes, Sersky." Uh, that was a good thing, but hey, that's great. You know, that's pretty good. That that'll be good. That that'll really resonate with like the two fans we have that actually like like sports. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, I I know uh, everybody. You know, in the audience, I'm looking out to them right now. You know, cue the laugh track. <laughs> um. You know, we're you know they're they're really big fans of the NBA. Um, you know, they really you know one of our fans came up to us and said, you know, you guys should like totally make like an episode entirely dedicated to the NBA and talking about the, all the teams and their records and everything. And that's uh, that'd be so good. Right now. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right the fuck now. Let's go. All right, the Lakers, Ethan. Uh, anyways, the Lakers. You know, they they've been uh. You know, this this season I've been making it a, uh, a a point to hate them at every single step in their journey. Um, I don't wish that they they make the playoffs. I don't wish that they do good. I hope they lose every night that they play, um, because that's just what they deserve for having LeBron on the team. It's just what they deserve. Despite the fact that LeBron is the only person that's not a bum on the team. Ah. Uh, hmm. Either uh, way, you know, it's just been really that. funny. It's unfortunate you say that. Oh, it's unfortunate I say that. Why is that? What about Anthony Davis? He, you know, he can't stay, stop getting injured. That's all it is, you know. Well, I mean, maybe if he could know, do, maybe if he could stop for a second, maybe we'd be fine. You know, he did a lot for your city back in the day. Oh yeah, your he did. And, and 
Yeah, he did a lot. He did do a lot for my city until he decided to leave. Well, I mean, was that his fault? Um, you know, shit. Who knows? Could have been. Maybe it could have. Maybe it was, couldn't. I think it was maybe the the uh, the amount of people that were getting run over by white pickup trucks. It could be that. Mm. It could be that. It's mm. a lot speaking of amount of people doing that. Speaking about this segue, um, guys, uh, Mardi Gras happened recently. Yo, uh, didn't it? Yeah, that nigga but, said, "Who you were down in it. down in New Orleans?" Yep, New Orleans. It's, it's also in other places like Alabama. Who the fuck cares about them? <laughs> I don't. I'm just telling you, nigga. See, that's exact. Yeah, exactly. Anybody that's from Alabama listening, uh... <laughs> watch. We're just gonna get like absolutely destroyed or something. Uh, you... We hope you have a wonderful day. But anyways, Mardi Gras. How was it? How was it? What was uh, any any cool experiences? I know you guys were really. I know Jalil went out a bunch. You know, he spent a bu- no. Like, I can't dick mm-hmm. run. I can't. Yeah, I did, I did mm-hmm. not go out. Mm-hmm. You well, see, you can't go out, buddy. I normally do not go out uh, just because I normally haven't given a fuck. And that's that's really because, like, one, it'd be dangerous in these streets. Like, no lie. Like, fucking, like, the other day, like, before Mardi Gras, some other fucking parade got, like, shot up. And, like, five niggas got shot and, like, one nigga died. It's just, like, another day, really. Um, But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Because my partner's mom invited me uh, to go with them to uh the Zulu parade. That's, like, one of the big ones on a... Uh, a Mardi Gras, and I was like, fuck it, sure. And one, that was the worst fucking traffic I've ever experienced in my life. And I've lived for almost 21 years on this earth. That is the worst fucking traffic I've ever experienced in my life. If you ever want to come down for Mardi Gras, number don't. one, don't. Just don't. Fucking, you could get the New Orleans experience on a Thursday night. Niggas be on Bourbon Street fucking pushing baby strollers. Like, have their fucking little newborn son in there. They don't give a fuck. They don't. But if you want to go on Mardi Gras, you got to leave early. Or you're going to be stuck in traffic all fucking day. So you got to come early. You got to leave early. But I was there. One, it was hot as fuck because it's always hot in New Orleans. Or not. But it was hot as fuck. It uh, just rain the other day, bro. That's how it works. Yeah. Fucking, it gets, is it moist and humid? That's what fucking, happens. But I, I was I was out there. And nah, like, they be having bitches be flashing their titties, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I, cause the thing is, I never mm-hmm. saw that. Like, and I, no, I didn't. Um, I never, I never saw that like in person, like ever. Um, and I usually would think it would happen like at night, you know, cause I usually see videos of like niggas doing it like at night. It's like, all right, you're on Bourbon Street at night, you know, everybody's drunk, yada yada. But like, nah, it's like fucking like eleven o'clock in the morning, like one o'clock, sober as fuck. This like lady, she just had like this fucking like silky robe on, and she like fucking opened the robe. And I was like, boom, titties. And she kept like, f- like flashing at niggas that was like on the floats and shit. And I just was sitting here like, damn, like. For the I, free ball? I, I'm just like, that shit crazy. And I'm also like, I don't want to be like, think of the children, but like, think of the children, nigga. Okay. Like, they had, like, like, they had all these little children around here. I'm like, some some little eight year old probably saw titties for the first time that day. And and they had an awakening or some stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, fucking like altered his fucking brain chemistry. Really? I just yeah. like, all right, like, that's just how that is, I guess. Niggas just don't really care. Cause I was explaining it to my uh, one of my friends, and it was like, "Do niggas like like not care?" And I was like, "Not really, no." Like fucking all police officers out there, they won't tell them shit. I saw fucking the police, one of the uh, damn sheriffs was having a conversation with the lady. Like they don't niggas don't give a fuck. That's just how it is. But it's literally just a holiday. That's how that works. Pretty much. But it was it was fun. Uh, I caught some beads. You know, cause they they'll, they'll throw beads and other assorted things off of the yeah, floor. coconuts. Yeah, uh, you get yourself I, a nice coconut. You ever, you know, you some of them coconuts you crack them bitches open. You can eat them. You can you, eat the you, juice. Do you remember how we would? Uh, anyways, do you remember uh, Jalo? How we would paint the coconuts in a uh, in school, and then they would use mm-hmm. them in the parades. They that's still the thing that kids still do. Uh, yeah, I think it's gross. Let's add that to the growing, insanely long list of cool things that you guys did in school. <laughs> <laughs> that you didn't do. You just had you fucking just sat there at your desk with your mouth and open. with your mouth open and fucking just playing with graceful slurs hurled at you daily. That's yeah. all it was. They go, they go walk past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. That that when you said that, that shit crazy to me because it's like 
we are, we are, and niggas ain't really racist like that down here. Like, maybe you'll get, like, niggas saying, well, not maybe, you'll get niggas saying, like, racist shit about, like, Asian niggas, like, a lot. Like, but not, like, you want you want to hear them saying slurs, right? But niggas just outright just walked up to you, just said the N-word and walked. Like, that's fucking crazy, bro. Like, that, that nigga meant it. That nigga meant think, it. He had to well, say it to you. Well, it just was crazy to me is, like, the audacity <laughs> of it. Anyways, Ice Spice, yeah, yeah, Ice, Ice Spice. Spice. Yeah, damn, uh, yeah, yeah, like, damn, she in a move. Uh, like, damn, she in a move. Like, damn, she in a move. Like, <laughs> Ice Spice has been doing, like, really good shit. I was, little, I, go. I was a little skeptical at first, because I was like, oh, I hope, I don't know, like, where she really going to go. Because it's like, I don't, I can't really see her sound getting very much different. I think I definitely can see it now. I believe she can do, like, a lot of shit. You know, um, I, I, I was always repping Ice Spice, you know. Yeah, you know, you t- you are a munch, like you told me. You, 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 I'm a munch. You came up to me, you know, you put your shoulder on my arm and said, oh, hey, Jalil, you know, I am a munch. And I was like, you know, that is true, Rob. I'm a munch, by the way. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, I am a munch. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't tell people this very often, but, you know, I am a munch. Hmm. But we're all munchkins here in this school. Yeah, it's we're true. all part of the spice cabinet. It's true. You know, Sometimes Joel, how do you feel about Ice Spice? Yeah, Joel, what do you think? I don't even know who that is, dude. <laughs> this nigga listening to like, Joel, why do you keep asking me these Mario. questions like I'm supposed to know it? Guys, we forgot. He only listens to Mario Odyssey sound. Uh, I don't actually, anyway. Oh, you don't? No. You think the music's horrible? No, I never said that. <laughs> You know, he never said fucking it's, asshole. It's the classic. Uh, it's the classic Twitter rhetoric. I really like pancakes, so you eat waffles. <laughs> Shut up. Now you can uh, take it up a level and say something even more heinous. Uh, so it's. I mean, you know, I, I like. Actually, speaking about that, Joel. Um, you know, for for our, our our Momo trip, you have to you have to fill out this playlist for our Spotify playlist that you know. Yeah, I put like three. Public, you know. I put three songs on it. Why? Three. It's 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 it's, it's, it's like two hundred. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to work on that. Okay. Why you, don't talk to me like that? Where are you? Oh, aren't you? Haven't you been playing Ark? Maybe. Yeah. You're living out your fantasies of a six year old boy. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, dinosaur, need... dinosaur. Uh, I need a second. What do you mean by that, Ethan? I mean exactly what I mean. You know, you know, audience. Take that as you will. You never know what Ethan means, you know? Sometimes no, I, could... I, I said exactly what it means. You know, one night, Ethan came up to my room, and he told me, uh, he just he was saying random nonsense. He was just slurring his speech. I think he's been off the yak a little too much. Yeah, it took too many Ambien. <laughs> you, uh, you got a message you want to take care of? It's... <laughs> I'm not going to say what notification that is. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, honestly, honestly, thinking about it, Joe, what what are you planning on putting in the playlist? Uh, I guess some music that I genuinely like. Let me put some of these new gorillas in there. Hold on. Yeah, Joe. Oh. I mean, it, so is it just gonna be like all like OST music? No. So. See the thing is, Joel, you haven't really expand. You haven't really like talked to us nor mentioned at, at all. Like you're, oh, you get a phone call. He's getting a phone call, call, people. My genuine oh. answer about that is like, I I just don't really know what to say. I'm I'm not really someone who is high on the whole music trend. I'm just not that person. The trend. Well, okay, maybe trend's not the right word, okay? Like, understand, though, like, I, I just, I, I'm not into that. Like, people always talk about, like, big artists and shit, and I'm just like, hey, like, I just don't get that. I, I just don't, personally. We're not and even I, saying, like, big artists. We're saying music in general, my nigga. Well, music <laughs> in like, general, right, but, like, I just don't, I don't really care about the artists. Like, no offense to the artists, they're great at, the, at what they do. But, like, it's just, 
I, I don't really care. I just, I care about what I hear in the song and like whatever its name is. I could fucking care less. I could care if it's like said Super Mario shit. I'd be like, mm-hmm. well, that's a dumb name, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't well, fucking you, affect you, how you, I feel about it. Is it given that you think I'm, it's given to me? <laughs> what is it given to you? I'm not, I'm not going to say it, but I think you, what do you feel? I'm thinking, you know, that one fucking uh, Toy Story voiceover where it's fucking Buzz and Woody and they talking to each other. And fucking uh, Buzz is like, you know, I like the occasional video game OST music, you know, and uh, like Soviet Union uh, theme. And then fucking Woody's like, nigga, you have no swag. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <sighs> where's, my, where's my phone? Let me see. Let me see my Spotify real quick. I'll, I'll oh give you an God. example. No, 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 no. Actually, I need like, you to tell me. Go on your Spotify, and you need to say, show, tell me, read out your on repeat on Spotify. My on repeat. Mm-hmm. I want. I'm curious. I don't know where to find that. It, it's one of the the playlists that Spotify will make for you. And you don't know how to get to that. Wow. I don't interact with Spotify so that you, often. Do you, Do you know how to get to that? You're not a real Spotify head. I see. No. Say I'm at home. You're not a real Spotify head. No, it's not here. You got premium. Yeah. Can you can you go to your top uh, songs in 2022? No. No, it went away a while ago. No. It went away a long time ago for my it, Spotify. It's gonna still well. Well, I got. I, I don't know. Maybe you gotta save it because mine is saved. Yeah, I have all the mine saved since like, um, that's pretty gay. Since twenty twenty two, that's pretty gay. Nobody fucking asked you. Either. I mean, twenty twenty. I meant to say, like you save yours for throughout the years. Come on now. It, I mean, it's nice to see how your fucking music taste changes, and not. Uh, no. You live in the moment. Oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! Good. That nigga said Eureka on repeat. Uh, <laughs> Eureka. <laughs> God damn it! Do I have to read this out? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You're reading one. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. Ah, fine, fine. Okay. Uh, fine, fine. okay. Uh, one of them is the palace that was found. Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Oh, here okay. we go. Uh, yeah, Sonic is fire. So one of them, one of the other one is fucking Kobana mining four five six. Um, <laughs> love that, Yo, <laughs> love that man. I fucking Who's love. Gonna rock the place. Yeah, we're gonna rock the place. Face ass nigga. Hey everybody, it's Kobana mining four five six. Everyone, Kobana mining four five six here. Um, man, I know, I know. Mondays, bring back my Please, Q, Ethan, fucking laughing out loud for this. Fucking uh, shy away from Twenty One Pilots. <laughs> oh, Rob did it! God damn it, bro! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big uh, Twenty One Pilots head. Oh, are you not? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> a fu- are you fucking serious, bro? Wait, did I, um, did I tell y'all um, about the time? Sorry, did I, I didn't y'all, laugh. Did I tell y'all about the time that my mom? Uh, she, she tried to put me on uh, Imagine Dragons, thinking oh, that I didn't know no. what Imagine Dragons was. Yeah, we was in the car, and she was like, "Robbie, you heard this song?" And I was like, "No, uh, what what is it?" And she was like, "Oh, it's this band, Imagine Dragons. Uh, you should really listen to them. I like them a lot." And I was like, "Oh yeah, um, I know them. I'm aware of them. They made some songs that I, I'm." I know exists. I'm familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> I think they exist. I've heard them before in my life. <laughs> that, that is a song. There's definitely lyrics. Uh, like unironically, honestly, if you like, if you genuinely consider yourself a fan of Imagine Dragons, you're just an NPC. Chill out, chill out. No, I like Imagine Dragons. Chill out. You can no, 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 like no, the music that they make. It's just if you consider them, you a, an active fan of them. Like, if they release an album, you're going to listen to it within the next okay, couple well, of days. Yeah, nah. Yo, I'm going to tell you what makes you a bot. If you fuck it, if it's that, but it's for Fallout Boy. Okay, come on. <laughs> Fallout Boy is good, too. You a bot. <laughs> I, I don't listen to them actively, but Fallout Boy is good. They got good songs. Wait, so uh, what's wrong with Fallout Boy? I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. I'm applying your same logic to Fallout Boy. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, boy. I can't wait for the new album. 
I, I can't. Well, I, I can't, can't, wait, for my head put, I can't wait for me to put sentries on in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I think, I think a, a, a good like, I guess what what the fucking word would be like litmus test is to like ask niggas what they listen to while at the gym, because some niggas have some fucking terrible, some absolutely things. terrible, yeah. I just like nigga. How are you? Is this motivating you? Like, like what? It, look, whatever, whatever helps you finish the rep, I guess. Whopper, 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 junior baby. Eat like a king who's on budget. Eat like eat like a king. Have, you, budget. have you seen the? Uh, have you seen the two like? Have you seen the two like uh black ladies on TikTok that sing the that sing those those songs at it, like in the Burger King restaurants when they get food? No, I have not. I, the, the, I'm this, looking at out. <laughs> it is so funny, bro. <laughs> it's like it's and they're like they're twins too. But so it's like these it's these old black ladies that that sing the that the the fucking Burger King songs like when they're getting food, and they, there's they they have like a bunch of different TikToks. This isn't with just one. I'm gonna have to check this out. It's 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 the it's it's so funny. You know, I would I would go and find it, but I don't really I don't really follow people on TikTok. I just wait for them to come back up on my for you. I swear you're so I dumb. Mean, you're so dumb. Well, you pissed me off. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Following them is really jack shit. Because <laughs> the only time you're gonna see it is when it comes up on your for you page again. Well, yeah, or but, you, you know, click your following. Same, or the you thing is, though, I have the same logic with like you, like with YouTube though. Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm on the. I'm on the guys where it's like, I'm gonna give you a like and a comment. Well, I like. I don't really comment. I'm gonna give you a like. Um, if I like the video type shit, uh, and if I want to see more of your shit, or if I notice that I'm watching more of your shit, then I'm gonna subscribe. Like, I'm not gonna watch one video and then subscribe. I'm gonna watch a couple and then subscribe. If that makes sense. The thing is, it's it's unfortunate with me because I get to the point where, um, I found I, it. Good. 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 Um, we'll, we'll, maybe, maybe we'll splice in one of their TikTok. <laughs> they're twins? Um, that's what he um, said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're twins. Um, okay, so it gets to the point with YouTube where I'll start watching a person's content and it gets to the point where I actually end up talking to these people and I still have not subscribed to their channel. That is fucking nuts. And I think a, case in, a case in point that literally is, is, is one of the worst like examples currently is Turb. You you work I with that nigga. With him now. <laughs> you work <laughs> with him that him nigga, now. bro. I still haven't subscribed to his channel. <laughs> I think just out of courtesy, like even out if I don't really watch a nigga shit, uh if I'm friendly with them, I'm gonna subscribe. The thing is, though, I can't like I'm 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 scared to subscribe now because what if he notices? Well, the thing is, when it when it comes, well, first off, fucking you saying this on a fucking podcast. First off, but second well, off, I'm just hoping, th- I'm bro, I'm. Well, 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 listen, I'm sorry, also, bro. I like. <laughs> well, listen, 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 listen. I don't know if you noticed, but niggas will only know if you subscribe to them if your subscriptions are public. That's how that works. Are my are my subscriptions up? No, they're not. As, as far as I know, they are not because I can't see them. But like, but like, uh, can't you see like on YouTube Studio? Well, on YouTube Studio, you can see niggas that subscribe to you, but that's if they have their subscriptions public. I'm oh, assuming. let me let me fact check that before I fucking say some stupid shit online. Because I got a, a fucking perfect uh, example. Uh, let me fact check that shit. Yup, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause fucking uh Okay, let, let me subscribe to him right now. Let's see. Yup, cause fucking uh one of the uh one of my fucking I guess I guess I can say mutual is the word, fucking YouTube mutual or whatever. Uh Praxy plays. Uh he subbed to me like a, a while ago. And I could see that because his so uh his, his subscribers are uh, oh my god, his subscriptions are public. While I'm while I'm here too, I'm also gonna subscribe to FP Signifier. But is that is wild. I just don't wild. understand how you can just not it's, subscribe. I, 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 I just don't understand. It's, it's the craziest thing. Please, y'all, if y'all end up watching this episode. I watch every single video that comes out because it comes up on my YouTube recommended on my homepage, obviously. 
I just it it, it 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 like I never end up subscribing though. And this is this has been a thing for like years that I just don't do. And others have when I when I like when I uh when I met Ian or when I saw him on YouTube when he got recommended to me, it took me like two years to notice after after I started even talking to him like daily that I I wasn't subscribed to him. That shit is crazy. Yeah, I just try and, you know, stick up for my niggas for real. Um, you know, so, so, you know, I received another phone call, you know, um, you know, it was my mother again. Uh, she was asking me, oh, you want any food? I was like, I guess. The thing is, though, I didn't, what I didn't tell her, um, my dad on the way home, he stopped and got like like uh like chicken from a deli or not mm. a deli but a the butcher um that we usually get stuff from and like i'm supposed to make that f for myself but i've kind of forgot to tell well my mom just came on with food like literally just now oh yeah what you what you come on with I gotta see because she just said she's gonna go get food. It's oh, probably okay. like it's either like Popeyes, KFC. Uh, oh my god, I want fucking like KFC. KFC. I hate you. Or Taco Bell. What a bot, bro! What are you talking about? Hit his ass go. Hit his ass go. All right, let's let's keep it real, everybody. Are we picking? Are we picking KFC over Popeyes? Well, fuck no. But KFC still not bad. <laughs> KFC still good. I. KFC there is isn't we'll obviously there isn't a man. fucking Popeyes near here, bro. I live in what fucking. What do you mean? There isn't a Popeyes near here. There Did, really, is there really the isn't. Of, is, is that a result of the 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 fucking train derailment in I Ohio? No. There just literally How isn't you... Popeyes here. There's a KFC, but not a Popeyes. I, see, I don't understand that because like there are multiple Popeyes where I am. So, but you think about it, like, I'm in an even worse position than you are, geographically. I don't like, know what to tell you. Like, there just isn't, there isn't Popeyes. There's the KFC that... Man, you just, you, you're just living in hell. But you gotta, you gotta understand, like, me eating KFC was the first time I've eaten fried chicken. Oh. Bro, you're just like okay. You're an NPC. You're a bot. Oh, you no, haven't come played, on. You haven't, I, I'm, no, you haven't played Uno. Are not settling down. <laughs> you haven't. You, you barely listen to music. You haven't ate fried chicken. You haven't played Uno. You're a bot, bro. What else? What are you? What are you doing? This nigga is a created character. I swear, yes, somebody sir. put him in. Put him. He's G Mod character. He's G Mod character. The man. The person. No, the no, being. No wonder I love that dance so much, bro. No wonder. Yeah. Hey. Watch, you probably look away from Joe for a second. He started doing the Gmod dance. <laughs> you just going here and flop over. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, when he when he when he dies, he's going like ragdoll fall down. Like as a Gmod. Ragdoll how? Like Gmod or like Yes, like Gmod. Yeah. Yeah. Um No, but yeah, if you if you're picking like any it goes out to anybody, if you're picking KFC over Popeyes, you're a bot. I'm not picking it though because I haven't I haven't had been a, I haven't been able to try like you haven't Popeyes. tried Popeyes I haven't tried Popeyes and K my first time eating KFC was really a couple weeks ago. What? Nigga, you are a bot. So it even gets worse. You you lived like you lived out in L.A. How did you not have either? Uh, because the KFC and Popeyes were like were a good like twenty and thirty minutes from where I lived. So you never found yourself over in that direction and thought, hey, these are no. really notable places. Maybe I should try it. I, at the times that I, were, I was nearby, I couldn't because I was a kid with my parents and my parents didn't eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. I thought it was dumb. You went, you went 19 years of your life without having fried chicken in your life. Yeah, and then it wasn't until like um, my partner and I were, were talking about what we should eat one night. She recommended like fucking... Uh, KFC, and I was like, "Oh, sure, I've heard I've heard good things about them. I finally want to try that." 
<laughs> well, we we know the episode so, titles. <laughs> we know the here's episode a real title, question. Yeah. What did you get from KFC? What did you get? Uh, fuck. I gotta I gotta check. Um, but I remember it was uh, I think it was mashed potatoes, and um, it was two pieces of chicken. I have I can't remember what they were though. Oh no. Relax. It's not like fucking. It's not fucking outrageous. It was like basic as fuck. I just wanted to try the chicken. But like the sides are also something that you need. Ma- to mashed potatoes. Yeah. I didn't like anything they had there. Sorry. You, you didn't like the mashed potatoes. No, like any other sides they had available, I like didn't really so feel you like eating. Decided it. not to get the, the the fries. No, I didn't want fries. Nor the mac and cheese. Well, no, I didn't want mac and cheese either. I just, yeah, I found it right here. It's the four-piece chicken combo. I had, I had mashed potatoes and gravy, and that was it. Let me see. <coughs> Remember if I read it. Hmm. You know, me and Jalil were were quite the were were uh, connoisseurs of the famous bowls. You know. And you know the the famous bowl from KFC goes hard. It does, it does. I think it was a breast, thigh, and drum. And wing. Like okay. Four. So you got the so, whole experience. So yes. did you like it? I mean... He's going to say it was ass. He's going to say it was ass. He's going to say it was ass. I'm not going to say it was ass. Shut up, bro. It was all right. Like, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't, like, fucking a fantastic gourmet food. Like... So you you thought it was average? <laughs> uh, you gonna laugh? He's gonna laugh, bro. A little below than average. <laughs> Fucking like remember, he's in Ohio. Remember, he's in Ohio. Remember, he's, remember, he's in Ohio. Remember, he's in Ohio. I think he's racially targeted at this point. Remember, he's in Ohio. I get it. I get it. It's like you know. I I get it. You know that that train derailment. It it messed the the whole brain synapse of everybody in Ohio. Uh, uh-huh. but like, man, I didn't. You, phew, ah, man. Uh huh. I didn't think the whole. You would think that whole experience was below average. Rob, any any comments? I, I like. I, I don't. I maybe you're just gagged over there. You know. I don't know. <laughs> you need to die, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that I said it was below the average, or what? That's that's just there's nothing else I can really say, bro. Why like, you gotta die? See, it's, <laughs> it's even worse when you say like you haven't you haven't tried fried chicken in your life, and then you say your first experience with fried chicken is below average. Well, in fairness, the wings were cold. You should have gotten a refund, my nigga. Well, DoorDash doesn't want to, hasn't been wanting to be microwave. I was too fucking lazy, bro. That's okay. When and then my, okay, yeah. when okay when listen, we, listen, uh... listen, 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 listen. The only reason I remember as below an average, and I, I probably should have said this because I just remembered. The, the entire reason why I think that the experience is as below an average is because one of the fucking dogs here um, ate half of my like KFC, so I didn't even get to enjoy all of it. So what? I was, like, kind of about it. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Um... Uh, Joe, when you fly into Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport in a few months, you'll you'll try Popeyes and then you'll realize, oh wow, this is good food. <laughs> okay. This is pretty good. This is good food. Well I, I hope so. I hope it's extra crispy. Do you, you like it extra crispy? Yeah. Now how would you have that opinion if you've only had uh, KFC up in your nineteen years of life? Because that was the option stated on Disc on not Discord, DoorDash. Guys. I think we got a bot. <laughs> what do you mean? This robot. What do you mean, bro? Anyways, like... anyways, I think that's a good time to go ahead and uh go ahead and transition, as always. Transition. What do you mean, buddy? What? What? I don't. I think. I think we could keep going. I think our conversations are like nice. Don't you like it, Ethan? Um, you because like I can always talk about something else. I mean, I think. I think you can always talk about something else. I can always talk about something else. 
you know, sometimes I don't like to, uh, you know, do things to friends that uh, want things to happen to them. But, you know, when you, when you ask so graciously, you know, I think I just have to. So, Ethan. Uh-huh. What's on your desk? You know, it's, it's, it's worse than usual, you know. Oh, it's, oh, it's worse than usual. See the see what, what 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 why is it worse than usual at this time, Ethan? Um, you know, recently, actually, you know, it's crazy. You know, between the Tariq episode and this one, um, it's you know I've gotten a whole fucking PC on my desk. Mm. Um, which is wild, right? Um, and since then, I haven't. Well, I did clean up my desk, but since then I haven't cleaned since I cleaned. So, um, currently there is a half drink Wendy's cup on my desk. Mm -hmm. Uh, an empty, two empty McDonald's cups, two empty McDonald's cups. Um, an empty noodles and company cup. Uh, one of those cans that was the Crown Royal um, lemonade. Clean your desk, nigga. And then there are two monster cans as well. You got like a little trash can in your room. What do you think I'm? What do you think I'm made out of money? Well, fucking... considering the fact that you're buying like Wendy's McDonald's, I think you could spare a, couple, a bit of bucks for a cheap fucking trash can. Um, fucking asshole. That's, that's not in the budget, you know. <laughs> and not in the budget, not be dirty. <laughs> that's that's part of the, the aesthetic. Ah, oh, right, the aesthetic where you don't drink water. Right. I, I checked. You want a white person, so that is true. I mean, he is. Um, are, are just, you like it half- just happens, you know. Sometimes, you know, and and that uh, I haven't had the uh, the motivation to clean it up yet. Mm. That's all I mean. KFC. Oh, so it was KFC. Yeah, it was KFC. Would you say it's below average the experience so far? Oh my god! Oh, fuck no. See, I would say, I would say it is just. just- Maybe there's just a bot among us. Yeah, right maybe now. maybe you should just not let your dog eat your food, then you eat it, and also let it be cold. What did I miss? You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry it's about it. Anyways, anyways, questions. Well, before that, actually, I wanted to. I did want to mention something else, though. Um, you know, you should get those questions already, though, Joel. But uh-huh. um, you know, recently, uh, me and Jalil have been a uh, doing some some interesting activities um playing some interesting games and uh watching some interesting shows and you know i wanted to 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 update the audience because uh lately we've been doing that um so about a couple weeks i guess after the 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 start of uh the last of us i started watching it um and, you know, I, since then, I've been asking, you know, I was telling Jalil, man, you have to watch The Last of Us. You have to watch The Last of Us because it's so good. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I don't really have any uh, any uh, ties to watch it. You know, I don't really care about the story at all. You know, I know what happens. Um, You know, I was like, oh, you know, I do too. But it's like, it's still a good show. And he was like, well, you know, it's not like I'm saying it's going to be bad. I just say, rah, 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 rah. So one night I uh, I sat him down and I forced him to watch it. And uh, how about you tell tell the audience your experience, Will? All right, sure, because it's his favorite thing ever. Because he he feels like he got a little dub or anything. Oh, of course, it was a massive dub. I already yeah. said I just didn't give a fuck about The Last of Us. I, I obviously know it's going to be good. I know the show's going to be good. I just don't give a fuck. It's just like I I just don't care. I just right. literally don't care. It's not something right. I'm passionate about. Even after watching it. I think it's really massively done. I think it's good. The actors are really good. I just don't give a fuck. I really just don't give a fuck. It's it's just one of those things. I just don't give a fuck. It's like I have no issues with the shit at all. Don't care. I'm. I just don't give a fuck. But since you started watching it, now you are invested. I, I mean, yeah, I'm watching it. Sure, obviously, it's what I'm not going to turn it down. I just still, like I said, I'm not like I'm not hyper fixated on it or anything. That's how you really know I like something. Right, right, right. Um, but your experience was nonetheless good. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm like I said, I wasn't gonna have a negative experience. I just didn't really care to watch it myself. Now, how would you? How would you explain? How would you uh, go about um, explaining your your um, you know reactions to episode three specifically? Um, you know, to the audience that may not. Oh, uh, uh, in short words, gagged. In yeah. long words, super gagged. Yeah, I wasn't ready for it. You know, I forgot that that happened, and I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, were you? Uh, was it um very uh? How many could you could you count the tears? Uh, I'll say there's a nice two, a nice two. two. Of them. You know, it was like it was coming, but it wasn't really like that. It wasn't as bad as when it was like um thirteen well, no, reasons that, why. Well, okay, so. You know, episode three is with the two of them, right? Mm-hmm. And episode four is what follows with those, those, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, um, let's see, the, uh, the trying whole, to start the whole driving, like, to, uh, the, the, yeah, that place. Um, so, I mean, episode three, I mean, me, me personally, when I watched it, um, you know, I was, I was gagged, you know, it was, you know, that whole episode, it was really, you know, uh, they were definitely serving cunt that entire episode. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was a really good episode. Like, I, like I said, literally just like, what I mean too, two different scenarios, like, in the episode was there. But still, it was not as much as, like, 13 Reasons Why when we watched that. Yeah, which at the, at the same point, we also need to get other people, specifically Rob, to watch that. Um, oh, God. Bro, my because... God, I can't go through that fucking show. Well, I, just, I, just, I hate looking at teen drama shit or like niggas getting pressed or whatever. And it's like in real life, I fucking beat your ass. So it's like, it's just painful to sit there and watch it happen. Yeah, but you know, it's, you know, we, 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 you, you got invested with it with Euphoria. So I, I did, bro. I mean, I was um... just, I was just talking to Kai about how I miss Euphoria Sundays. That's when we yeah. was in our little messy art. Yeah. You know, we, gotta, we, gotta get back on, we gotta get back on Soprano Saturdays, you know? I do miss it. Yeah. We bring it back, like, every once in a while. But we don't, like, continuously do it. Ethan, I honestly feel as if I see any of the actors, like, of 13 Reasons Why IRL, I might just drop dead and die. It's like me saying the nigga that, if I ever meet the nigga that played Nate Jacobs, I'm gonna shit myself. Yeah, because I just <laughs> in my brain it just can't function right. Also, what's, what's you know, the in real life, like that nigga is super evil. Probably. Um, I'm gonna say this before we get into questions, because you know I haven't done this in a while. I have a nice little request for any kind souls out there that wants to draw something fun for us. I think it'd be a really good idea for oh I don't know, you guys draw Joel as a bot. <laughs> As a robot, as a human, uh, as a robot, as a see if any robot you want to draw of Joel, and I want you to have him say, I don't know, anything the most bodiest thing you could think you could say, you know, or maybe say a phrase that Joel says a lot, you know. I think a phrase that I say a lot. What you know, the fuck would that be? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, one of your catchphrases. You know, pull Joel's arm. He says a catchphrase. Make him look like the fucking brain pop robot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah robot. What's that nigga name? Obi, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you, it would be really funny, right? Um, when we get the uh, when we get the the Dota Bear uh, X uh, Down Bad Boys crossover, um, it'd be really funny for all of us to have uh, like you know, little voice boxes, except for Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. No, 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 no. Obi, really funny. We can all have to know the implications behind that. Look, 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 look. He got a he got a voice box, but you press it and it's just fucking TV static. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Joel, um, you know, our, our dedicated question asker, please. Please get to it. Okay. So, from Dan Green on Discord, what's the mm -hmm. dumbest internet trend uh, you have? Like, what do you, from That's all common. the internet trends you know, like, what, what do you think is the dumbest? Yeah. Hmm. 
The first one that popped into my mind was the very short-lived trend of uh, people going into grocery stores into the ice cream aisle. And Fuck uh, you! I was gonna say that. I was gonna uh, say that. Yeah. Going into grocery stores, opening up containers of ice cream and licking it, I think it's the most stupid thing you could possibly do. I wonder what that girl is now. Probably, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully never getting into college. Well. It's, it's funny, too, because, like, immediately as that went viral, every single person in the world shot her down. <laughs> Fucking, what's my, what's my a social media trend? Let's see. Uh, I got one, Rob, what you think of it? Um, my fucking Musical.ly. Fuck, I hate it, Musical.ly. Oh, just in general? Like yeah. The whole, like, that, that, that era was terrible. Singing and dancing the songs. Yeah. Well, it was, it was terrible because it's like we got our niggas like Charlie D'Amelio and shit for like getting really popular uh, and famous by doing nothing, which is true. Um, but musically, it was even worse because it was like you got these fucking twelve year old kids get millions of followers because they're like lip syncing to fucking songs. Like right, that shit, that shit not not healthy. Now, what do you know about? About, about what? What do you know about um? Oh, oh. Musically? About Here we what? go. What what do you what do you know about lip syncing on musically? I mean, it was like every commentary YouTuber's like fucking subtopic when uh, there was no Keemstar drama of the week. You know what's really funny? What? I, I haven't I haven't revealed this ever actually because it's it's really like embarrassing. But at this point, like. It's actually part of my TikTok account now, but, you know, obviously I've renamed it. Um, so, musically, um, I, uh, uh, so on, on, on musically, right? Um, I used to post, I, I posted one, one thing ever, and it was a fan cam. Of Immortal HD. Uh huh. Huh. Now, oh, why did you make this? You know, he was one of those. He was. What? What's happened? He was one of those. He was one of those. You know, those triggers. Or like that triggered your dick. You know, you um, can't keep saying this. You can't keep saying this, Ethan. What do you mean? You talking oh, about hold on. You're talking about, about, about these triggers. Yo, and these... yo, I just remember that crazy shit he said the other week. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. It was one of those triggers, though. Mm-mm. Anyways, I probably say the same like trend as Ethan, because I was thinking it already the ice cream shit. That's like really dumb to me. Um my least favorite trend. Uh, cause I mean, these are, I guess this is this kind of accidental, but like those fucking white kids that do like blackface and shit, like in public spaces, and, uh, like, do, like they do it for like, I don't know. It's like, if it's like for a prank or just to do it like amongst their friends and they post it on social media and it's like, they have a severe lack of awareness and how this would affect their actions going forward, yeah. but they just don't give a shit. Like that shit, that shit drive me. Cause I'm just like. I'm not even mad that, that a nigga do it. It's just I'm mad at the fact that like a nigga doing it and like they thought it was going to be happen. Okay. Yeah, like you think this shit was going to fly? Like this is like a lack of awareness. I don't understand, but it, it's just it's just also just kind of sucks because it's like you know I don't give a shit about you because like you some fucking rando uh, that lives on the other side of the fucking globe, but like you're a young person who essentially just like low key kind of ruined like their future prospects. Cause that's, and that's going to probably define you for, like, a good chunk of your life. Like, you could have just not done that. Yeah. So, uh, what's, 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 the, what's the next question for us, Joel? Uh, let's see here. So, from Doka on Discord, what games have y'all been playing recently or want to get into and play as a uh, well, you heard the guy say it earlier, I, I've been getting into playing ARK. Um, 
That's honestly it's it. It's kind of cringe. Uh-huh. I, well, I'm not the only one in call to think that. I, I don't care. I mean, like... Arc, really? I, I Yeah. I like it. I don't give a fuck. Shut up. Fucking banana forehead motherfucker. Oh? What does that mean? Why specifically bananas? Because it's, it's fucking yellow. The, what color is your yellow, you fucking color blind? You call me yellow? Yeah, because that's, that's literally the color of your character. Yellow. You're terrible. Oh, anyways, uh, anybody else? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hmm, Rob? Uh, games? No, he's a big gamer, guys, you know. Yeah. Uh, so you know, he loves his games. I've been playing Dragon Ball Legends. <laughs> That's all I've been playing. <laughs> 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 I've been fucking playing recently. Uh, let's see. I wanted to pick up. I, I wanted to pick up Kakarot again because I never beat it. Um, in the game, played it. It's. I recommend it. It's really good. All right, British to recommendation. Let's go. I'm on the the fucking fight where Gohan fights Deborah. I just didn't beat him yet because I stopped giving a fuck. Okay. Uh, I've been playing a lot of different games recently. I've been getting into more FPS games because, you know, I had a life. I had a life. So, like, I didn't play those types of games really like that growing up, you know, because I had a life and friends. Um, So I started playing Overwatch. I've been playing Overwatch 2 for, like, months. And I've gotten to really liking the game. Uh, other than that, I've been playing Valorant, and I'm starting to like that game, or at least in, be able to play it and not want to like rip my uh, rip my uh. Let's see, what's a good uh phrase for this? What's rip, e- no, 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 no. Rip each individual one of my toes off my foot with a tweezer. It made me not want to do that. So I think, yeah, that's uh, what I've just been playing recently. Mm. Well, recently I've been I've been playing Valorant with Joel. <laughs> um, that's been okay. Um, I haven't really, I guess, played anything new, or uh, well, actually, well, I guess getting into things, I have been wanting to try and get into like uh, what is that thing? What is that game called? Um, oh, uh, 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 Cult of the Lamb, um, that, uh, I was looking at the other day, and then I was like, damn, I don't have money to buy it, because it was on sale, um, but I want to get into that, um, yeah. You you seen, uh, um, Cult of the Lamb Twitter? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't follow people just at the same time as I don't subscribe to. People. No, no, you would have seen oh. it because I mentioned this directly to you. I don't like like a, the Cold Land. Hold on, 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 hold on. I gotta, I gotta just show this to you. I don't know. Hopefully, they ain't deleted. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, excuse me. All right, look, hold on. Look in the, look in the group chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Ethan, do you remember this now? I remember it, but I don't remember it. I, I just, I like, I just saw this in a movie. Like, I, I don't remember actually. Well, talking. Yeah, I was talking about it because it gave me an idea for something. Uh, I, I won't say too much more after that, but yeah. Yeah, we'll make sure that that tweet gets put up on the screen to, for for context. <laughs> yeah. Also, we'll make sure the video where those two ladies are singing the Burger King shit is also put up on screen. Yes. Um. All right. Anyways, next question. Uh. All right, so Oliver on Discord asks, mm-hmm. what's the cringiest memory y'all got? Wait, what was the question? What's the cringiest memory you have? Uh, 
cringiest memory I have. Uh, I think at some point, Rob, you're gonna have to like explain that that, that screenshot you have of you with the giant scissors. <laughs> uh, well, that's not that's not really embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> well, I know that, I know that. But at some point, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that and have you tell the story. Oh, well, I mean, I can tell I can tell it now if you if you want. No, let's let's save it for another day. <laughs> it's, for another it's, day. Not, it's not even that grandiose of a story. Um, we'll hype it up. <laughs> as uh, I guess because uh, I've done a lifetime of embarrassing shit. Oh, I don't know if I told this on the podcast. I'm pretty sure I did. But the one time I told my art teacher that I like incest anime because I know anime. <laughs> did I have I told that story? Yeah, here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit because I didn't know what that meant, and I was trying to sound like I knew uh, what I was talking about. And I he looked at me with like such a <laughs> like bewildered like what the fuck type look and I, I just was like okay so that's a bad thing that i just said and i went home and googled it and i was like holy fuck <laughs> i was like there's, there's really no walking back on that and like what makes it worse is the fact that like my twin sister was in the class because we had the same art class so like that nigga was probably thinking who knows what like he probably thought i was like a fucking weirdo or so like <laughs> Like that's just and like every, every now and then, like that shit haunts me, bro. I'm like, I'm like this nigga, this nigga thinking that like <laughs> I got something wrong with me. I can never write that wrong. That's just forever gonna be his perception. You know, I was um, I was tight with my middle school art teacher. Um, he uh, he was tight. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, to the point where, like, I would always like be sitting like at his like desk on his lap. I'm see. I don't even want to continue this anymore. No, 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 no continue. No, continue. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be sorry. I'll be sorry. Anyways, he was a really cool guy. Okay. Um. I can't even see the next thing because you're gonna joke about that too. I, I promise. I up. I promise. We had a really good relationship. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, th- I think. I think your precious relationship with your art teacher is a uh, very wholesome. There's the so many people in his life that uh, you have really close relationships with. I wonder what that means. All right, I can tell you. Continue with your story, please. Anyways. Um... There was one night that I uh, wanted to make something for him. Like an art piece. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So I... Um, what's, what's, the, what's the technique where you, like, pull up a picture of something and you don't... You're not tracing it, but you're, like... Referencing? Mimicking. You're, like... Not even referencing because it wasn't a different pose. It was the exact same picture, like, Wait, like same you, posing, same everything. Are you just redrawing a picture? Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, I guess um, I redraw. Yeah, so I redrew uh, a picture from uh, from Spirited Away, which he also got me into Spirited Away, um, which was cool. <coughs> um, so I redrew a picture of uh, the whatever from Spirited Away. And, um, I came to, I, you know, I was really bad at this, right? It looks like horrible. It was horrible, right? Um, mm-hmm. and I came in and, I, you know, I, I, I gave it to him because I was like, it was going to be like one of those halfway, like ironic things, but halfway, like I was trying like, oh, uh, like thoughtful things. Right. And, um, I didn't expect it, but like he, like he put it. Like, he grabbed, like, a magnet, like, a little magnet, and put it, like, on the side of his desk. And, like, I went back to the middle school, um, and, like, uh, during my high school years, um, because we were doing some, some type of thing, and I went in there into his room, and I looked to see if it was still there, 
it was still there, but uh, apparently some person uh, put on the drawing, like in like one of the like a corner, and they wrote like really small. This drawing is shit. <laughs> oh. Um. So. Oh, no. Um. That's why I. I um don't draw anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that that fucking little shitty kid has no idea that they fucking like ruined your life. Mm-hmm. Jesus. I'm about, to, um, I'm about to, because I'm gonna ask you for the uh, the high school and what year so I can time travel and find that kid, beat the shit out of him. Oh no, yeah. I mean, I you know, I wish I knew because I wish I knew. Um. Because it just, I, you know, I would have threw a brick at their back of their cranium. <laughs> uh, cringiest memory I have is I try to avoid it. I've literally been trying to think of other cringe memories I have, but this is the top cringiest thing I cannot get rid of. And it is, it's not even that bad. When I was little, um, you know, I was at the stage of my life where I just, like, loved my parents, and I just wanted, like, their attention every fucking second. And if I couldn't have it, I'd be sad. So, with my dad working a lot when I was little, um, I would call him. But it was from our, our, like, our home phone. So, like, I didn't have my own phone at the time either, and my mom didn't either. It was literally just, like, a, a phone connected to the house. So, I put in my dad's number, and I call him. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm talking to him. I'm like, hey, dad. You know, in a fucking kid, a kid voice, right? Hey, dad, miss you. Love you, dad. How are you, dad? Like all that, all the bullshit a kid would say. And, and on the other line, he responds, I'm not your dad. Hey, kid, I'm not your dad. Who are you? No, I'm not your dad. So... Every time I heard that response, I was like, yes, you are. Because I thought it was my dad, like, just fucking with me. Like, oh, saying, like, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And, I, and I'm like, yeah, you are. You're my dad. You're my dad. And on the other end, he says, seriously, I'm not your dad. And I pause. I pause to think about it for an actual. And I'm not even shitting you. I did this in the most fucking cinematic way possible. I slowly pulled the phone from my ear and then read the number that I had typed in. And obviously, as you may tell, as you can may, may t- can tell fucking English, it was not actually my fucking dad. So I just, like, my fucking face is pinched up and I... F- Threw the phone down to hang up. And I ran to my room and I just, I sat there curled up in a ball, like, just so confused about what I just did. That is. Well, how can you type in a number? Like, how could you type in a number wrong? Like, wow. Uh, how, how off were you? What? Like, how off were you with the number? I think, like, by, like, a single digit. It was either the area code or the end of the... Damn. I won't let that shit happen to me, though. Oh, that's... Uh, uh, uh. Um, I think my cringest moment... I've already said a lot of cringe moments. I think you could probably make a compilation of how many times I've said something cringe in my life that I've done. So, let's see. Here's something cringe I can think of. Let's go with... Um... Oh, I got a good one. Let's go with something more recent. So this is me in college, right? So let's see. This is probably around maybe my freshman year. So, I, you know, I'm going to school like normal, body, yada, 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 whatever, right? So I'm in my math class. I don't really care what the fuck's happening. I'm just like just paying attention, I guess. So all of a sudden... I get hit by a truck pretty much with sleep. I just die, completely dying. And I ain't wake up until I started snoring. I wake up and I just have the teacher look at me dead in my eyes. And all I could say was just like, oh, damn, my fault. I didn't mean to do that. 
and I look down at my paper. I'm like, oh, shit, I got drool on my paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. And I was just sitting there like, oh, fuck. Um, anyways, the just just ignored it and just kept going on with the class. I'm going to let you know, I don't know what the fuck happened that day. I just, I literally died. And like, I, I never spoke to the teacher about it. I never said nothing extra after that. I guess they just did not care. Because it was other niggas doing the same thing. Like, literally, like, niggas just fell asleep all the time in class. See me? I will only fall asleep in class in the beginning of the year. Because that's when, I went out beginning of the year, beginning of the school year, like, like August. Because then that's when my, I had to fucking fix my sleep schedule. Mm. All right. Uh, all right. Next question. Um, thoughts on nerdcore slash gaming music? Also, Smash Brains, <laughs> if any at all. Uh, um, who who asked that? I gotta double check. Joker. Yeah, Joe slid that nigga at twenty. Wait, yeah, no, 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 no. I lied. I lied. I don't get it. Uh, Jack underscore A underscore boy. Okay. Yeah, all right, Jules. What? You're on your burner. Yeah, on your burner account. What uh, is that again? Okay, so, <laughs> so, so, um, fucking, can you say how did, how did, it was like, how do you feel about nerd culture? Nerdcore slash gaming music. Oh. Like, we're talking uh, about the music, and you know what nerdcore is, Rob. Do I? It's what Chill does. Oh, that's nerdcore, where it's literally the song is like just about like an anime character or some some, some whatever fucking nerdy shit you want to use. That is oh. what nerdcore is. I feel like with me, nerdcore is a it's a thin line between where it's cool and where it's like it's corny, cringe, and makes me want to fucking like die. It, uh, it, it really just depends on the person to me. I, I feel like it depends on the person. It depends on how unserious you are about it, and it depends on how specific the reference is. Yeah, it's where like, it's like, yeah. That, that, I guess that's kind of my criteria. Like, uh, cause I mean, what was it? Like, fucking, I feel like that kind of rise, at least in terms of like with rap, like in fucking like 2018 to like that 2020 bracket. That's where like, uh, a bunch of like kind of meme rap and it's be niggas rapping about fucking being a dick to anime bitches all day type shit. And I thought that was funny, you know? Uh, but then there are some people where it's like, all right. This is a little too self-indulgent, like, and oddly specific and kind of corny. Um, so, I, like I said, it's a thin, fine line. And uh, I like it, you know. As for a Smash mains, Cloud, because he's simple. All I got to do is fucking do the thing where he fucking swings his sword and then knocks a nigga off the stage. Okay, okay. Um... I don't, you know, it's nerdcore is nerdcore, you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, video game, uh, video game music is cool. Um, I mean, I just wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't play it around, uh, you know, some people because they might scare away the hoes. Um, but uh, you know, there's good, there's good OSTs out there. Um, especially Persona, 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 Persona has really good um, OSTs. Um, but, uh, what, favorite, what, your Smash character, what is it? Smash Man. Smash Man. Oh, um, I guess for Ultimate, what would it be? What, who's that character? Just, just go with Pit, just go with Pit. Well, n- well no, that, cause I don't, I don't play Pit in, in Ultimate. What's that girl's name that girl? um, I played with? What girl? Uh, the nigga that like you do the, her side special and she does like this big needle like in the ground. You, Corin. Corin, yeah. There you go. I was, oh, I was, fucking, I was fucking up some shit. What, what other source nigga is it? I think it's Marth. Is that his name? Marth, I, Corin. Uh, well, at least they're all in terms of like. I like I like playing with Marth. I like playing with Marth. Is Corin Fire Emblem? Yes. Okay. I know they're sword fighter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know because you know I don't. I don't, I don't play. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I as for video game music, I like it. Uh, there's a, it's just that there's some songs where it's like 
how, like how would I listen to this? You know, like some OSTs, and there are some where it's like, okay, well, this is a song like that I could listen to, like anything from like Sonic, for instance. Um, let me see what else. Because let me see if I even have it in my fucking playlist uh, regarding video game shit. Because this is a bunch of Sonic shit. Like that's always good. I mean, there are like real human beings out there that listen to like the Cuphead OST, like uh, just going about their regular day. It's like, it's just yeah, like, and that, that human being is you. It's like how the fuck? <laughs> and not not anymore, not anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like, all right, I guess, like that's what you really like, but it's like you are missing out. Like this, you could. I'm not saying you can't like that, but there's more out there. Yeah, like what I what I discovered with Persona. The Persona OST. I'm sitting mm-hmm. trying to think if there's any other video game music I genuinely like, like, because it's like I said, Sonic is, is is up there. I can't really find nothing else. At least that kind of mine. Uh, the Binding of Isaac OST is very good. Yeah, the random I mean, definitely, definitely would never. You'd never play that around the hose, but. You know, pretty good. True, true. You're not trying to lose uh, the hose. Um, my personal opinion on Nerdcore, I think most of it, if not, is like really corny. I think most of it's really corny. I think some isn't. I think what really distinguishes if it is corny or not is the way the person is rapping and their skill with rapping. Um... Uh, there's a very there's a very simple way that every nerd core rapper raps most of the time, where it's like I've spit it, spit it, but it's like Eminem trying to do Eminem, but it's not that. It's like I just feel there's barely any variety, and even the big nerd core niggas that everyone loves, I don't like. I'm gonna tell you what, like I feel like nerd core, like shit, where it's like oh, uh. Tangible rap. It's like put a fucking bullet in my skull. Like I don't. That's not. Well, I'm not gonna listen to that shit. Fucking Vegeta rap. Like, uh. Uh-uh. This not- is the Vegeta rap. Yeah, no. It's like yeah. A lot of them rap the same sort of way, and it's just like I don't really like that. And it's, it's like, like, yeah, I don't. I don't. It, know. it just feels like I. I don't know. There's just not enough variety in it. Um, at least to me, video game music. Um, I like pretty much everything when it comes to video game music. Um, obviously, Persona stuff, Sonic stuff, all that, whatever, blah, 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 games that I play. Um, obviously, yes, I'm not going to play that at the function, unless it's a song that everybody knows and everybody likes. The th- the key thing when it comes to playing music at a party, at a function, on a car trip or anything, is trying to appeal to the vast majority. You're not just playing shit that you want to hear, but you're also playing shit that other people would be fine with hearing. So let's say, for instance, you go to somewhere and it's like barely niggas that know shit. You play a song where it's like, oh, you're not really humming this. You're saying the notes. You're like, you're saying the words. You know the words. You don't want to do that sort of shit. Pretty much. Oh, also for Smash Man's Inkling, Daisy, and I'll just say one more Joker. And just leave it at that. Uh, me with Nerdcore, it's like. I don't know shit ab- about it, but it's like whatever. Like, it's it's. I don't give a fuck, dude. What you want to do? Uh, game music, fucking. You know me. I fucking. I love gaming music, regardless if it comes from Nintendo or some shit. Because obviously, I'm known as a Nintendo head. Um, like, I, but I can still listen to like actual songs that with like with like lyrics that they can be called actual songs, and just like like OSTs, literally, like. I fucking loved um called fucking uh the song from Watch Dogs too. It's called uh Robot or something. I fucking love that song. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. it comes Go up on. once again. And uh as for Smash Main, uh I play Mario. Basic. Uh-huh. You can't wait to fucking meteor ass in a win. Both in game and in real life. Yeah. And what he means is sex. Uh no, that's actually not what I mean. I think that's what you mean. Anyway. No, no, no. Anyways, I'm gonna take a song for one more question. 
One more question? Okay. Uh, let me pick this one real good. Hmm. Okay, let's do this one from Geek Tunes. For each member of the team, if you were on trial for a crime in a courthouse, who would you trust to be your lawyer? Yeah. Like, is it got to be somebody in this group or like. Well, why don't we do both? Okay. Uh. I mean, fucking, obviously, like, nigga, I'm calling Saul, like, hello? Um, but if it's somebody in this group, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say Ethan, because he's going to be Ethan, yeah. He, he a very, like, semantic, like, word-for-word-ass nigga. Like, he, he a word salad, word soup-ass nigga. Like, he, I feel like he could talk a nigga out of, this, out of a sticky situation. It's, yeah, it's really just going to be Ethan. I, I think if you chose anyone else, you'd be selling yourself. Pretty much, yeah. Like imagine having Ian defend you Jesus on the stand. God, guys, he's just gonna start crying. <laughs> he's just gonna start saying, he's gonna start running his mouth, and then they're gonna be like, "He said what?" <laughs> no, no, that's not what I. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, the thirty years under the jail. <laughs> Joel, who you picking? Oh, uh, if I had to pick anyone in this group, actually, it would be Hayden. Um. Mm. As for as for an actual lawyer, I'd pick fucking Phoenix Wright from Ace Attorney. That man, that man gonna get me out. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna pick Hayden just because of um, privilege. Um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and also he has a uh, he has the uh, best education out of all of us. Um, so. Uh, and then, um, obviously I'm calling slow, so. Man, you gotta be, anyway, honestly, you always uh, gotta be so good, man. Yeah, it's gotta be so good, man, you know. Um, anyways, guys, uh, you know, it was a great episode, what'd you guys think? Honestly, I think I might just need to go donate, uh, some money to somebody. Give me a second. What, what what kind of money? Uh, Rob, check your account. Oh my God, thirty thousand dollars. Who did? I gotta start to keep it. Ethan. You know my saying. Don't offer Rob, a good job Rob, if you're not committing. Rob knows my saying. What's my saying, Rob? Is it something we just don't understand? Yeah, it's something we just don't understand. Ethan needs help, and we just don't know how. I, I can't help him. Hmm. So, Joe, you going to do something about it? Something about what? You going to commit? Commit to what? Helping Ethan. Maybe. It was, guys, it was, uh, it was great. It was great, uh, you know, having everybody, you know. Um... You know, uh, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, subscribe to the YouTube, uh, join our Discord. Uh, listen to all the podcasts again. Yeah. yeah. Listen to all of them many, many times in a row. Keep doing it over and over again, especially on Spotify and Apple uh, Apple Podcasts. Uh, keep doing that. Um, you know, just have them all playing at once and just keep on them on repeat on different accounts and devices. Yeah, raise up um, my watch time. For some reason, our watch time is actually pretty not shit on these, so that means y'all are listening to these, which is... Yeah, really yeah. Cool. So so if you're here, if you're here uh, right now at the end of the episode, appreciate that. Um, now watch it again. <laughs> yeah, there might be some little Easter eggs you missed. Yeah, exactly. See? We develop in a cinematic universe. You gotta be caught up to date. That is true. That is true. Anyways, uh, you know, good episode, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, you know, say bye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 That was good.